guys welcome back to the channel welcome back welcome back welcome back guys welcome back to the channel everyone make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button make sure your subscribe button is gray and not red make sure your post notification bell is on guys so you don't miss a video anytime closet of says upload okay and trust me guys you do not want to miss a video Anytime Miss D upload over here at Closet of Sass. Let's go ahead and get into this video. We're not going to prolong this video because you guys know we've been doing these series of clothes pins and baby, and I mean we're going to do these series of clothes pins. So please make sure your post notification bell is on, guys, so you don't miss a video anytime I upload. Let's go ahead and do the video. Like, comment, and share. Definitely share the channel, guys. Share, share, share. I know y'all can tell my voice is better, can't you? Yes. So if it gets a little low every now and then, I'm still trying to get over it. But other than that, I'm good. Y'all can tell I'm good. Yes, 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 I'm good. Okay. Today, we're going to talk about, I think this is series four. So, the other day, I think it was series three, I was just showing y'all the steps. I want to test my theory. Okay. Let's test my theory. And this is my first time doing this on here with you guys. What I did was I just got an old bowl out of my kitchen. And that I've used to mix up little stuff. And remember I told you you can use the paint, right? So, let's try something. Let's try something. We're going to do it together, okay? This is the washable black paint. I haven't been to the Dollar Tree yet, guys. When I go, I will definitely do a haul on it. And it will be with the different color paints. And I went in there today, but I didn't go to shop. And how about, you know, the little round acrylic paint I show you with all the little different little um, colors on it? Y'all, guess guess what I saw? I saw they had, they come in two, and they the big kind. Probably about the size of a compact mirror like this. It was this size, and it was like acrylic paint, but it was only two came in the pack of different colors, like one be pink or red, you know, stuff like that. But y'all make sure y'all go check out your local Dollar Trees in your area. Or even when you're out of town traveling, stop by their Dollar Trees too because they have a whole lot of stuff. Okay, we're going to go ahead and see. Okay, y'all know how to take these clothes pins apart. We're not going to waste our time in doing so because everyone has clothes pins laying around their home. So we're just going to take them apart. We're not going to even go through that step, okay? So guess what? I'm just going to pour it in, throw them in there, and y'all see where I'm going with this, right? So, but guess what I'm going to do? These are just regular clothespins. This is a 2.85, I think. And I get these from the Dollar Tree. Yep. 8.75, I was right. Yeah. That's it right there. So, y'all know. Anyway, these are just the regular size clothespins. Um, I'm going to put this over here. Because I may need that to, for something. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just, just take some of these apart. I'm not going to throw these away because I do know we can do something with these two later. But guess what? I'm just going to put these to the side. And then we're just going to throw these in there. Let's do at least about um, uh, four. Well, wait a minute now. Um, one, two, three, about four or five. Let's do five. That way, if I mess up, let me see, get some rough ones first. And I want to use all my good ones in case they don't. My theory does not work. Okay, that's a rough one. All of these here pretty rough. Gee. You know, sometimes you have to look at these clothes pins, even though they're a dollar, but wait a minute. Or well, a dollar twenty-five. Now when you go to the Dollar Tree, make sure y'all look at the packages first. Even at the dollar store, wherever you go. Because some of them can have some real rough ones in there. Look at this one. Um, that's pretty cool because I like it. That's pretty cool too. Um, I just saw it. See right here where it's chipped off at? Right there. See where it's chipped at? We're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah. Um, look at this one. Not, not that side, but this side. Look at this side. Look. Look at that. That's why I say make sure y'all check your clothes pins now. Make sure you check your clothes pins. So let's do this. I'm gonna put those to the side. I don't even know how many cents I come in now. 
So it must be even, whatever it is. So look at this one here. Now, this is a rough batch, but I haven't had these a minute, so. But no, they, mm -mm, that, that ain't going to matter, though. That, this here came like this. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven in here, okay? Let's test my theory. Remember when I told you guys you can paint, you can paint them, hand paint them, and all this kind of stuff. Either you can spray paint, baby. Look at him. I don't mind hand painting, and I will do that. I'm gonna put me on some gloves. I'm gonna mess my hands up because we're gonna get a little messy here. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Let's get a little messy for a minute. So, but I love to spray paint mine. So this weekend. I will definitely be going checking out me some spray paint, honey. I had some pink and I had some metallic gold. That metallic gold, y'all, is beautiful. And I think I gave out all my metallic gold. It's either that or my sons or somebody got it. And I, they always take my glossy black. Yes, they do. Out there paint trucks and stuff. No. That's mine for my crafts. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put this in here so we can do it all at once. All right? We're going to do it all at once. Look like somebody's calling me. Let's see. Y'all see that? Uh, Y'all see that? Let's see. You know you can do this with the dye, right? You can do this with the dye. So let's get a little messy. A quick and easy way to do this. And that ain't bad there now. But the thing is, like I say, it's going to be messy now. I ain't going to use my other hand right now because I want to <laughs> try to keep it and go inside there. Look. Look, look how fast that was, y'all. Y'all know we can get some dye. You can also get some dye and um let it sit in there and get the pinks, the different color dyes they have to the point to where you can let it sit as long as you like. See that even though that was rotting right there a little bit, the wood was messed up. Look, you can't even tell it. You can't even tell that's what it was. Look at that. Now y'all know another way. Just get the paint like this here. This bottle washable paint right here. Get from the Dollar Tree or wherever you go. And you have this kind of paint in the bottle. Just squeeze you some in an you know, old bowl that you no longer uses. Um, and just replace it with a new one. Um, you can get the acrylic paint too in the bottles that come from Walmart. And um, paint them too. This is a good idea. This is a very good idea. We done learned something new. So my theory does work. But the thing is we'll have to put them to the side. And let them dry. So this is a process of something that you would want to do at a later time. To the point to where you do it a little ahead of time. Go ahead and get it done and then come back after they done dry then you can show them okay y'all hold on one minute okay one moment i'll be right back okay guys i'm back now what i was saying was what you can do is do this ahead of time okay go ahead and since it's gonna be wet like this go ahead and get this done ahead of time because it has to dry so what we can do is Go ahead and let's see. So all of this is wet. See, look, all of it's colored and it's wet. We have it painted um, black. So, but now that it's wet, now what we're gonna have to do is find a piece of paper. So guess what you girl gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to leave it like this. But let me let me say this. 
the side that you know that nobody's going to be looking at, which will be the what? The middle. Right? Go ahead. I have my paper napkin right here to the side. Go ahead. Get this here. And make sure it's smoothed out of, of, of all the paint you want on it. Okay? And go from there. Okay. That's one. That's one. Let's see how this is going to turn out. That's two. And just kind of smooth it down, y'all, like this. Y'all see what I did? So it won't look so rough. So it have the smoothness to it. And put it on the inside. When you lay it down, lay it down on the inside. The inside right here to dry. Not on this side. Because this is the side that most likely will be showing. Look, I think I'm going to like that pretty good. When I can't, um, when I don't, when you run out of your paints and stuff. Or you don't feel like just hand paint. And you looking for a whole solid color, baby. Miss G done gave you another idea. Look. See how I kind of smoothed that out like that right there? I kind of smoothed it out. Remember, wear gloves if you want to do it with your hands. That's fine. And yes, we know we all have soap, but I don't, I don't want it on my hand now. Not like that. But yeah. See how smooth that is? Don't worry too much about the inside. Because that's the side they're not going to pay attention to. But try to just even all both sides out and I will definitely give you guys an update on this okay I will give you guys an update on this I like this now I like this technique yes I do and look like y'all it want to dry just that fast too wow and just come back if you want to and do like that right there you know just smooth it out like so. Just smooth it out. That's all we got to do. What's the odds of that? Cha! We done learned something else today. Look how smooth that is, y'all. Look. Look how smooth it is. Yep. Okay. And make sure every corner the little pieces on the inside is um colored let's see yep smooth it out smooth it out look at that y'all let it sit overnight or if you're doing it in the daytime the sun is out take it out there and honey it will dry in no time trust me y'all already know because y'all know if y'all watching me i do my id badges like that when i'm painting them my blanks okay and that's it remember and look look like i had put a whole lot of paint on there in this here container but look in this bowl the majority of it ended on the, um, yeah, the majority of it ended up on the clothespins. I like that. I like that pretty good. Now, the only thing is I want to see what it's going to look like when it dries. And then I can paint them, add my other little stuff I want to to them. Let's see something. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try one already set up. With my own hand. If you wanted a little light color, you can do it light too. See? Look. Or either you can do it like that. Put you some gloves on and do like this.
channel. Hmm. Huh. We can do it like that too. So, but whatever you do, whenever you're painting them, definitely get this here mouthpiece right here, the opening right here. Uh, if you're painting or whatever you're doing, and that's another way I'm going to show y'all too, that it's, that's pretty. Because that's the opening part right there. Don't worry, like I told y'all the first time, don't worry too much about that. It's fine. It'll be fine, but just right here on the, if you miss a little couple of, a little bit of it, that is fine. But other than that, make sure everything else is done, child. Ooh. Huh. Ain't that so? Child, no. Look. And that's what it looked like dry. Ooh, I bet this is going to be pretty bad, baby. Look. Yes, it is. It's somewhere in between that flat and gloss look. Y'all know what I'm saying? Let me see what this say. Even though it's washable, but... And this is for kids to play with, too. The, um, it say ages four. Paintbrush or finger or sponge or either sponge painting or you leave like I say you can use a sponge or something like that. No children under three. No kids under three. Look at that. That's pretty. Look. That's pretty. Look at it. Look how smooth I painted that on there by just handling it in my hand. Okay, guys. Yes, that's another way we can do them. So, since I did this like that, now, once they don't dry again, what we can do, we can go back and do this like this. Smooth it out. Look at that. Job now. It's already smoothed out. Look at it. Mm -mm. Just go back over it like so. So today we are painting clothespins. No, 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 no. Okay, great. I'll see the screen, y'all. I got it on the Thing, but I didn't. Look at that. Them little ugly clothes pins that looked so ugly, that didn't look so neat. Now they're on fleet. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. They didn't look as good at first. But they bad look at them now. They give you a little bit of that roughness to it. Um, um, a little bit of the roughness to it and stuff. And at the same time, a nice vintage look uh, clothespin. Okay, just run your hand up the sides like so. That's all you got to do while it's sitting there. That's all you got to do and I'll fix and show you. I'm going to pick up one. Yeah. Look. Look at that. Look at that. 
Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Okay. Now we see they are about dry. So, um, in the next video, um, once these have dri um, dried, um, completely dry, I would definitely give y'all an update on these right here that we just painted, guys. Remember, wear your gloves. It will get messy. It's going to get very messy. Okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A different way that you can now see instead of just spray painting them, you could definitely use this paint. I need to wipe that off too. You can definitely I'm going to have to get me a I get my life saw wipe and wipe that off. You can definitely use this from the Dollar Tree or wherever you get it from and you can do the acrylic paint the same way when you got it like this. If you just want, oh man, I just need to go ahead and paint these here. Get you an old container like this, a bowl that you have laying around. Just replace your bowl in your kitchen. That's all you got to do. But I guarantee you have more than enough at home laying around that you can find something to put it in. Squeeze this in there because it's liquid. Just squeeze it in there enough and y'all see what, how much I put in there. And look, it soaked, it every, it soaked up every bit of it. Every bit of it just about. Look. So, now we know we can do it like that too. Whenever we get ready to paint them. And I love it. Yes, I do. Because you can do this ahead of time. You can do this ahead of time, guys. All right. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure your post notification bell is on, guys, so you don't miss a video anytime it's the upload over here at Closet of Sass. We're definitely getting down to the nitty-gritty to show you guys the real decorations of making these clothespins. We're right now, we're getting all the... um basics out the way of how we can do to get them set up and so forth in the next video i'm fixing to show you guys y'all already know when i say a preset you already know stay tuned make sure you guys like comment subscribe to the channel post notification bell is on so you don't miss a video anytime i upload over here at closet of sass by miss d thanks for watching guys have fun doing this have fun have fun